All right, gang, so Pete, Rockstar just came out with a brand new community update, basically talking about everything that's been going on in GTA Online over the past year or so, as well as dropping some new information about the brand new GTA Online DLC coming up in December, gang. So, gang, as y'all know, man, I'm finna give y'all my feelings about it. I really ain't finna go into every detail talking about every single thing that they put in the damn news why it itself man if y'all want to read the news why you for yourself i'm gonna drop the link down in the description man so y'all can get that little information but y'all know how i do man i don't really go out my way reading every little tidbit from the news wire talking about everything that they said in the news white man i just give out my things i say whatever i need to say and i give my thoughts and processes on it. so if you knew here that's kind of what's going on but yes gang rockstar games has officially dropped the brand new information about the upcoming dlc and in the upcoming dlc they said we're gonna be getting a new business not only is we getting a brand new business we are getting the business that lester owned in the story mode which is the darnell's brother factory if you don't know what i'm talking about then that means you probably never played the story mode and you should lock in on that but you'll know it's a pretty popular area in the game pretty popular site i think it's a couple of missions like heist missions and stuff you do over there in that area stuff like that so we get in that we also get in pavel supposed to be coming back as well as a brand new fib agent i don't know if it's ulp but ulp was iaa was he or was he fib i don't don't know if he ULP he may be a brand new character but they say he a formal FIB officer turned independent contractor probably a brand new person though if I could guess no cap now I will say us taking over Lester's garment factory or the Darnell garment factory is kind of cool I never thought Rockstar would open that up and let that be something that we can own ourselves over the next couple of years or whatever like that I didn't expect that man but that's actually pretty cool I'm actually excited to see exactly like what change is going to go inside it's going to be the exact same thing when we have any like easter eggs inside of it or anything like that you know rockstar they probably would have some different stuff here and there maybe we'll get some michael easter eggs some lester easter eggs some different stuff we may not know about lester i don't know that'd be pretty cool to see but at the same time y'all know me though bro when it comes down to these dlcs and stuff like that i kind of keep one ear excited and then well one side excited and then the other side kind of and because you know these past few dlcs really ain't been it man but that's not really here i'm not trying to be negative or nothing i'm just trying to let y'all know that you know what i'm saying be excited if you're excited but also don't really say yourself too much bro by being overly excited and then the dlc come out and be ass also this is kind of early too when i think about it bro but that's something i'm gonna talk about later on in the video i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all the rest of the stuff going on with this dlc and then i'll talk about the latter stuff probably the last part so with this new dlc man we're supposed to be able to do brand new new robberies now i'm a one for i'm gonna tell y'all the truth i'm a sucker for new robberies i love robbing shit in this game that shit just what it is one thing i can say about gta bro is we gonna steal some shit in this game bro and i really do be enjoying that no cap man so brand new robbers supposed to be coming you're supposed to be able to do it from a computer terminal or an app on your phone one thing i see rockstar doing they really embracing this like app thing that's been going on if y'all haven't like worked in retail or if you ain't been you know what i'm saying shopping or just living in the world a lot that's one thing i will say man we have been getting a lot of apps like i used to work at a bunch of retail stores and one thing that they used to always try to tell us to do is to like promote the app promote the app get people on the app and stuff like that and it seemed like rockstar just adopting that brand of thinking when it come down to gt online with all these different apps and everything that they've been trying to add to the phone and stuff like that but i will say us being able to do these missions from anywhere in the game without having to just fly all the way back to the to the garment factory and starting it up up there is a w in my opinion i actually like that but i do think it's funny that rockstar's embracing this app culture that's been going on in the real life world in gta online now as far as the news robberies go i don't know exactly what we're gonna be stealing they really didn't say too much about what we gonna be taking how the robbery is gonna work or whatever like that i'm pretty sure they gonna leave that for a further on news while later on down the line once we get closer to the update and stuff like that but as of right now we really don't know what we still in they did have a screenshot of like two dudes going at it with some mary other guys look like and it seemed like they trying to get into this tulip but that's only thing i done seen like i don't know if that's brand new content or just something that they just showed us from a past mission in the game i don't know but that's the only thing that seemingly seemed like something that we're gonna be able to do with the upcoming update i really don't know though but also they go on to say something about we getting some brand new terabyte 
upgrades. I'm guessing they following the same vibes that they did with the Avenger in the couple of past updates or whatever. I think it was the Mercenaries update, that trash update. But it seemed like the damn Avenger, or not the Avenger, the Terabyte will be getting brand new upgrades. They said something about it's gonna be a collectible scanner. So you're gonna be able to run around the game and find different collectibles in the game trying to, with your Terabyte, you're gonna be able to like find the, the cars, the G's, cashes, stuff like that. So I'm guessing it's gonna make it easier for you to find different collectibles. I don't know how like helpful that's gonna be because we got stuff like the GTA lens map and then we got all these different videos of people showing you exactly where to go to get all this stuff. But I guess it's a cool addition for the terabyte. It's something that you would think the terabyte would use or the terabyte would do over the course of it being in its existence. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if it's gonna have other upgrades. I'm guessing it will because they said upgrades, they use the plural. So it's probably gonna be other stuff and it may be some stuff that Terabyte used that'll help us with this upcoming business with Darnell Brothers and Pavel and his new FIB agent or whatever like that. But that's just my guess. I don't know. If y'all can't tell, I'm trying to get into this little alien ship thing so I can get this stun baton. And it's not working well for me at all. I swear to God. So, gang, Rockstar also brought up a brand new November challenge. It's probably going to be another heist challenge because usually November challenges tend to be heist challenges in GTA, but we don't know what kind of challenge it's going to be. But they did bring up a new challenge and they said whatever challenge it is that we do have, if we end up completing it, we will get some special rewards, some special unlocks for the upcoming DLC. I'm guessing it's going to probably be like another vehicle, maybe a new weapon, maybe some extra clothing or something along the lines of that. That's the only thing I could guess. I am getting irritated with this damn UFO shit. I'm about to take a break from it. Also, for my PC boys and girls, y'all finally getting the brand new GTA Online expanded and enhanced stuff. So the stuff that's on the current gen Xbox Series XS and the PS5, that's coming to y'all in this upcoming update. So in December, y'all will be able to get that, which is cool because y'all know me. I've been wanting to come out and get on me a little bit of some PC just messing around and stuff myself. And this would be a dope way to get me over there, man. I don't know exactly if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to, like, bring myself to actually come in and play on PC or whatever. But I could see myself actually getting into that, bro. So let me know down in the comment section, bro, if y'all, y'all self could actually, if y'all would play with me. Like, who over there on PC, on GTA 5 Online PC, and if I was to get over there and play over there on that, on that console, not console, but on that ecosystem, would y'all actually be willing and ready to, like, rock with a nigga over there, man? I need to know, like, what the PC vibes looking like in the almighty game. Like, I know people play on PC, but I don't know how many people in my gang or whatever, with my in my community, actually play on PC and would be willing and ready to play with me on PC, buddy. So, if that do drop, I may do, like, one stream or something on PC. PC. I don't know for sure because I know how hectic and how crazy PC can get but Rockstar dropped a new anti-cheat Rockstar also did a bunch of different stuff when it come down to this gonna blow up but yeah they basically doing a lot of things to try to make PC playable again so I'm actually down for that man so if y'all over there on PC and y'all want to see me do a PC stream one day maybe one time no big promises because I want to dedicate my time and effort to GTA 5 online on PC maybe I'll come out there one time and bop out and play with y'all man or maybe I'll make some videos videos over there on PC like how I do these videos on Xbox I maybe do those videos on PC I don't know we have to see though but GTA 5 expanding and enhanced coming to PC this coming up November man so y'all can finally get all the goodies and all the challenges and all the little like career progress stuff that we've been getting over here on the current gen consoles which that also lead ways into the user generated stuff now one thing I've been getting questions about from the community from different people in my damn comment section and shit is is the 5M stuff still come in the GTA console and I'm not gonna say exactly it's 5M but Rockstar Games in this up in this news while in this community update said that user generated content or user or job creator updates will be happening so I'm guessing we will be getting this user generated stuff all this little 5M upgrades or project whatever the fuck they called it back you know, a couple of months ago when we was all talking about this stuff that probably will be dropping in in this upcoming update now like I said I don't know how 5 image is going to be but 
it very much could be implemented in this new job creator updates because they said something about we supposed to be getting new dispatch works, job creator updates, different things like that. So again, I don't know how 5M ish is going to be, but it's seeming like those leaks and all that stuff that we was talking about is a little bit on the correct side. I don't know how again 5M ish is gonna be. I gotta keep saying this because some of y'all be acting like y'all don't know what be going on or what a motherfucker be saying out their mouth, but seeming like it's gonna be happening seeming like we gonna be good i'm excited for it again i'm not a job creator so don't expect me to create no jobs but for the community and for the people that like that type of stuff i'm definitely down to see what y'all create and how y'all gonna make you know what I'm saying the dry spots of GTA line when the game get dry and boring fun for the hardcore players or streamers and stuff like that us to keep playing the game even when it ain't much to do so I'm excited for that and last but certainly not least man the part that I said we was gonna hold on to now for anybody that want to know no Rockstar Games did not drop any GTA 6 news information or anything in this community update there was nothing said but I will say, keep y'all into the streets because of the simple point of fact that Rockstar dropped this news extremely, extremely early. Literally November 1st. I didn't expect this type of stuff to more so the middle, maybe even the end of November coming into December. So maybe they cooking up something, maybe they not. All I can say is keep your ear to the streets. Rockstar got their earnest calls coming up in a couple of days. Well, not Rockstar. I keep saying Rockstar. But Take-Two got their earnest calls coming up in the next couple of days, which means we may hear something about GTA 6. We may not. To be honest, they may have dropped this information around this time for the earnest call. Maybe they on some trolling stuff. Like I said, if y'all haven't seen on Twitter or something, Rockstar themselves, or from what we hear, um, Sam Hauser himself basically said he wanted to delay the GTA announcement last year by a week just to mess with Jason Schreier and all them. But I guess they didn't end up going through with it. They just ended up dropping it when it was said to be dropped, I guess, to add on to the hype that was GTA 6 already, man. So at the end of the day, we could very much get something or we could very much not get something. Now, I don't know if we don't get something at all by the earnest call i'm not gonna say count it out because at the end of the day rockstar could just pop out they could just bop out with gta 6 without even announcing nothing without even telling us anything or whatever but at the same time they could very much not drop anything at all for the rest of the year and we just be in zero silence when it come down to gta 6 man but again that don't mean nothing is dropping but that also don't mean something is dropping all I can say to y'all, keep you into the streets over the next couple of weeks and months, and maybe, just maybe we'll get some GTA 6 news, whether it's a new trailer, whether it's just them saying something in the news wire, maybe some screenshots, anything. Also, again, like I said, split your expectations. Have, have hope that we hear something, but also be prepared for nothingness like we have all year, man. So with Rockstar Games, you really don't know what they got going on. Again, this is the only company that can pull this type of shit and get away with it. That's all I can say, man. So GTA 6 News, we may get it. We may not. But as far as this community update go, we got nothing at all from Rockstar Games about GTA 6, which is uh, unfortunate, but that's just how they operate, my G. But gang, that's pretty much it, man. That's all the information that I found interesting that I wanted to talk about in this upcoming DLC community update post that Rockstar made, man. Again, like I always say, man, leave a like on this video if you like it, man. Subscribe if you are new, Ski. Again, if we get any brand new GTA 6 update or when we get some more stuff, I definitely come out here and give y'all my feelings on everything, gang. Y'all know how that's how I do. But until the next one, I'm going to see y'all later. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about everything down in the comment section. Are you excited? Are you iffy? Do you not really care at all? Like, let me know how you feeling about everything down in the description. Again, I know it's unfortunate we didn't get into GTA 6 news, but GTA 6 news could still be on the horizon, or we may not get nothing at all, gang. I kind of hit the mic right there a little bit, man. But I love each and that last one of y'all. Thank y'all for checking out this video, gang. And like I always say, y'all be easy. Y'all take care. I'm about this thing, brody. Love y'all. Peace out.